Hello friends, I'm Vinayak and I'm your trainer for today. And what we are going to discuss today is the space around us. Yes, you've understood it right. We are going to discuss about the malls, the multiplexes, the cyber cafes, the McDonald's and the PVRs of this world. Yes, it sounds like a very interesting topic, doesn't it? Well, yes, because we have multiplexes coming up all over our cities, towns and places. So we need to know what kind of conversation goes on in a multiplex so that we can converse about it to our friends and even in an interview for that matter, which would eventually enhance the kind of life that we have, our quality of life as well, right? So let's come to multiplexes first. What exactly is a multiplex? Well, friends, it's nothing but a modern name for a modern market. As we know, a set of buyers and a set of sellers always meet at a place where they sell and buy the wares. That is a market, right? But as the towns progressed, what happened? We had less space. Yes, so what we did was we created multiplexes. You know, human beings have always been very innovative. So one of the biggest examples of human innovation is a multiplex. Multiplex is a modern version of a historical marketplace. It can be a bazaar, a departmental store, an emporium, a variety store, a shopping plaza, an outlet, a mart or a supermarket, right? Now, let's try and understand what exactly is a mall. A mall is a collection of independent shops, entertainment or refreshment facilities and parking areas constructed and maintained as a one single unit. They are large buildings which come up in fast expanding cities where there is less space which is available, right? And also the aim of a mall is to fulfill the consumer's needs at a single location. It's also called a one-stop shop. You enter a mall and you get everything that you require under one single roof, including your car parking. They are also open for long hours and provide shelter from the weather with the 24 by 7 working scenario that we have in the modern day. The timing part also comes as a great convenience to us. Think of that special day when you go out with your family. You see a film at a certain cinema hall, then you shop at a particular marketplace. Finally, you eat out at a family restaurant. The mall enables you to do all that within a single building. Isn't that great? Well, yes, this is what mall is all about. Okay, so for those of you who've been to places like Gurgaon or even Chandigarh for that matter, I'm sure you must have been to a mall where a lot of people come together, not only to buy or sell wares, but also to have a good time, to enjoy, and also for the window shopping. Yes, so now to make it more clear to you, let's take a look at a small conversation between a father and a daughter about a mall. Happy birthday, Sunny. Thank you. I'm 14 years old now. You're growing up fast. What do you want to do today? I want to go to Metropolitan Mall. Okay, we'll go to the mall today. Let's make our plans. What should we do first? First of all, we'll see a film. Alright, which film do you want to see? Chuck the India. Why don't we see the film in the cinema hall down the street? No, we'll see it in the metro. Why do you want to see it in the mall? Because after the film, I want to eat a dosa at Sagar Ratna. Wow, that's a splendid idea. I love dosas too. We'll eat at Sagar Ratna. And what should we buy for you on your birthday? I want a new pair of jeans, a black t-shirt, a jacket and a pair of shoes. Okay, but we'll have to drop by the bank first. Oh, daddy, the stores accept payment by debit card. You don't have to go to the bank. 
Oh yes, indeed, I almost forgot. So we don't need to carry cash, not even change, right? Only parking fare and we are not parking outside. I want to see the parking area in the basement. Okay, great. I hope uh, you found this conversation to be of great interest. And also it helped you to understand the mall culture better and also what the malls are all about. To make it more clear and precise, I would also like you to go through a small exercise, which of course is also given in your workbook. So it will have a set of questions and three options after each question, which you need to tick on your workbook as well. Right. So let's begin then. The question number one is the Metropolitan Mall is likely to be located. The options are in a village, in a small town or in a large city. Once again, I'll repeat it for you. The question is Metropolitan Mall is likely to be located. The options are in a village, in a small town or in a large city. So. Please think about the answer and mark it on your workbook. Right? The correct answer would be in a large city. But yes, in an ideal situation, the way we are developing now, I think in few years' time it will also be in a small village where probably you are located right now. Let's go to question number two now. The mall is not likely to include. The choices are entertainment facilities like a multiplex or pool tables, eating places like restaurants or ice cream booths, outdoor activities like a horse riding club. I'll repeat the question number two for you. The mall is not likely to include. The options are entertainment facilities like a multiplex or pool tables, eating places like restaurants or ice cream booths outdoor activities like a horse riding club well these are your options so what do you think would the answer be I'm sure you got it right this time the right answer is outdoor activities like a horse riding club now let's go to question number three what is the purpose of the trip the options are it's in celebration of the daughter's birthday Shopping for a trip they have planned. A survey of the construction of the mall. Let me repeat the question for you. What is the purpose of the trip? The options are it's in celebration of the daughter's birthday. Shopping for a trip that they have planned. A survey of the construction of the mall. So what do you think is the right answer this time? Well, make a guess. Right, the right answer is it's in the celebration of the daughter's birthday. I'm sure all of you must have got it right if you had listened to the conversation carefully, right? Okay, I, I hope this quiz is not very tough. So let's move on to question number four now. The question number four is how will daddy make payments at the mall? Well, does that ring a bell? Okay, let me tell you the options. The option number one is he will pay in cash. Option number two is he'll sign bills and clear them later. And option number three is that he will pay by debit card. Once again, I'll repeat the question for you. How will daddy make payments at the mall? And the options are he will pay it in cash. He will sign bills and clear them later. And the third option is he will pay them by debit card. Well, what do you think is the right answer? Take a guess. Yes, he will pay it by a debit card, that magical bit of plastic which all our daddies carry nowadays, right? Now, let's go on to the second most visited place in the space around us. Yes, it is a fast food restaurant. McDonald's is one of the biggest examples of a fast food restaurant. I'm sure some of you must have gone to a McDonald's. 
Yes, McDonald's is that famous red-colored restaurant where people go on weekends with their families and friends. We have burgers there, we have Pepsis, and we have french fries as well. It's a very nice place to meet and socialize. Right, so let's now define what exactly is a fast food restaurant. A fast food restaurant is a specific type of a restaurant characterized both by its fast food menu and by self-service as opposed to table service. What it means is that we will not have waiters per se in a fast food restaurant. We place an order for food and then we go and pick it up ourselves. The food is normally western style, it's cooked in bulk and in advance and kept hot to order. One may eat there or take away packed meals as one likes. Fast food restaurants are usually part of a restaurant chain which sends standardized foodstuffs to each restaurant from central locations. Food is available in a short period of time. One generally drops in for a quick meal or orders food from these restaurants. And mind you, the food is very sumptuous and of very good quality. They offer bread-based food in general. It's convenient for snack parties rather than a full-fledged meal. For a full-fledged meal, I would rather prefer a, a naan and a dal any day. It is very good quality food, although high in calorie content. The self-serve style appeals to young people in India because nowadays it's not very fashionable to be served. It's always better to go and do it yourself. To make the concept of a fast food restaurant clearer to you, let's take a look at a small piece of conversation which I'm sure would clarify it beyond any doubts how a restaurant works. So now we are going to take a look at a small bit of conversation between two colleagues. I'm hungry. Haven't you had lunch? No, I was too busy at lunch time. Okay, why don't you order a meal from the dhaba downstairs? Oh, I'm tired of the food that they serve. It's too oily. It is rather oily. If you want a snack, you can order a pizza from Domino's. That won't be oily, but it's more fattening. Oh, I don't care. I can see that. You've put on a few kilos. Look who's talking. <laughs> How long do they take to deliver the pizza? Half an hour. That's too long. I'm just too hungry to wait for half an hour. All right. Just dash across the road, run around the block and grab a bite at McDonald's. In office hours? Just be back in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That's right. It's possible. People do it all the time. I'll cover for you. Go on. Get set. Go. Okay. I'm gone. Wait, get me a wedge burger. Here's a hundred bucks. Okay, sure. Bye. See you in 15 minutes. Well, I'm sure you enjoyed this small bit of conversation. And based on this conversation, now I would be making a few statements where you have to ascertain whether they are true or false. Well, yes, you're right. They are given in your workbook as well. So I would like you to mark them there. So are you ready? All right, let's start then. So the first statement is McDonald's serves Indian food. Now, what do you think? Is it true or false? Yes, you got it right. This is indeed false because what they serve is Western style food. Fast food restaurant employ lots of waiters so what do you think is that true or false i'll repeat it fast food restaurant employ lots of waiters what do you think about that well that's not true at all that's false now some of you might be wondering why is it false well that is because the basic criteria on which a fast food restaurant works is self-service. So that means that we have less number of people to serve in a fast food restaurant. So that is why it's false, right? So now let's move on to the next statement. You have to book a table in advance. 
Now, what do you think? Right. Well, no, we never book a table in advance in a fast food restaurant. This is false. That is because the whole point of a fast food restaurant is that we go there anytime we feel like and we don't have to think about it in advance. So when we don't think about it, how can we book a table in advance, right? So it would be false. Now let's go to the next statement, which is the food is high in calorie content. Well, if you remember the conversation, we heard the, one of the persons saying that I might put on some weight. So what do you think about this? Well, it has to be very high in calorie content. So it's absolutely true. If we eat burgers, we put on weight. This is how it works. Let's go on to the next statement. That is, you can take away packed meals. What do you think about that? Can you just drive into a McDonald's, pick up a burger and move away? Can you do that? Any guesses? Okay, I'll answer that for you. Yes, of course, you can do that. In fact, uh, in McDonald's, you can drive in, pick up a burger and go away. This is how it is. So this would be absolutely true. So folks, how did you like this exercise? I'm sure uh, it made the idea of a fast food restaurant more clear to you. And next time when you go yourself to a fast food restaurant, you would be more confident about it. And when you talk about a fast food restaurant, you would be more confident of having a conversation about it. So now let's move on to the next topic, which is again uh, a very important place of bustling activity nowadays, which is a multiplex. So friends, what exactly is a multiplex? Well, you might have heard of a multiplex called PVR, which is almost everywhere in, in places like Delhi, in Chennai, in a lot of other places as well. So multiplex is a movie theater with three or more screens. The difference is that in a normal theater, you can just watch one movie or you just have the option of watching one movie at one time, right? How a multiplex works is that there you have more than three or four screens. So you have choice of the movie which you would like to watch. There would be four or five movies running at the same time. Don't you think that's great? That gives you more options in terms of the movie which you would like to watch. There have been cases where two or three friends go for a movie. Somebody wants to watch an English movie, he would go for that. Then there's somebody else who says that he would like to watch a Bhojpuri movie. He can do that as well. And then they can move out of the multiplex at the same time. So what do you think about that? Amazing idea, isn't it? So the largest of these multiplexes are sometimes referred to as megaplexes. It's a very loose difference depending on the number of screens that we have. Multiplex theaters nearly always feature regular seating. However, the screens are nearly always smaller than those found in the conventional cinema halls. So this is what a multiplex is all about. So let's delve a bit deeper into the concept of a multiplex. Now, just close your eyes and think about the latest movie which you might have seen. Probably Chuck the India perhaps or any other movie for that matter. And uh, when you go to watch a movie in a cinema hall and you want to see a specific film and then what you do is you go to a hall where it's been screened or you probably may plan an outing and make a selection of the films being screened at various cinema halls at a particular time. A multiplex, what it does for you is it offers you a greater choice Films are screened throughout the day on several screens and facilities like booking online are easily available. You can even call up the multiplex people and book a ticket for yourself. You can do it online 
through internet and you can have the tickets delivered to your doorstep isn't that great well that's first century for you to understand it a little better let's take a look at a conversation which goes on in a multiplex What should we do on Sunday? Let's see a movie, Mom. I don't think I have the energy standing in those long lines to buy tickets and popcorn. I wouldn't take my mother to such a place. We'll go to PVR. To see a Hollywood film? Or a Bollywood film for that matter. We'll see what we want to see. All the new films are screened there. How can all the new films be screened at one hall? Come on, Mom, it's a multiplex with eight screens. It's like eight small halls rolled into one. And the crowd is pretty decent there too. So we turn up at PVR at whatever time we like? Yes, that's right. And the movie we want to see will be shown? Yes, we may have to wait for half an hour or so. But we'll have a snack or probably take a stroll around the place. We'll have a very good time. That sounds good. Let's go. All right. Well, friends, I'm sure you must have enjoyed this bit of conversation between a mother and a son. This is uh, every day happening in all the homes, isn't it? Right. So now uh, let's move on a little further. And uh, let's see what we've learned from this conversation. Yes, you've guessed it right. Now I'm once again going to make a few statements in which you have to ascertain which is true or false. Right. So let's start with the statements. I will not be giving you the answers right in the beginning. But yes. Once we are through with the exercise, I will give you all the correct answers. I'm sure you must have enjoyed the conversation between a mother and a son. Now, after that, let's move on to a small quiz about this conversation, which you just heard. And also, please don't forget to mark the correct answers in your workbook which is extremely important. I'll tell you all the answers at the end of the exercise. So, are you ready? Let's begin. The statement number one goes like this. A multiplex has only one screen. I'm sure you know the right answer. I'll repeat it for you. The statement is, a multiplex has only one screen. So what do you think, folks? Is that true or false? Well, you've got all the time to think about it till I give you the answer. But I'm sure you've got it right. Let's move on to the next statement. A megaplex is a large multiplex. Now, what do you think about that? I know it's a bit tricky. But if you would have heard the conversation carefully, I'm sure you would have got the right answer. You, if you're not sure, you can always make a guess. I'll repeat it. A megaplex is a large multiplex. So let's move on to the next statement. A single film is screened on many screens. What do you think about that? Is that true? But why would a single film be screened on so many screens? Just think whether that's true or false. Let me repeat it for you. A single film is screened on many screens. Let's go on to the next statement. The screens are larger than the normal hall screens. Once again, these screens in a multiplex are larger than the normal conventional hall screens. What do you think about that? Are the screens larger? Well, you decide. Let's go to the next statement. Multiplexes are found in large cities. Let me repeat that. Multiplexes are found in large cities. What do you think about that? Well, 
It could be true. Once again, it could be false as well. Don't worry, I would not make you wait for long to give you the correct answers. So I'm sure all of you have marked the answers in your workbook of what you think to be the correct answer. So now let's go to the answers. Statement number one, a multiplex has only one screen. Well, multiplex never has one screen as we had heard in the conversation, right? Multiplex means that a complex which has a lot of screens. So the answer would be false. Let's go to the next statement. A megaplex is a large multiplex. Yes, megaplex is a very large multiplex which has around 8 to 10 screens. So this statement would once again be true. A single film is screened on many screens. Well, if only one film has to be screened, why would we need multiple screens, right? So this would be false. We will have different films on different screens. That's the whole idea of having a multiplex, right? Let's move on to the next statement. The screens are larger than the normal screens. Well, what do you think about that? Since a multiplex has a lot of screens, that is why the size of the screen would be smaller than a conventional theater screen. So this would be false. I'm sure you got it right. Let's move on to the next statement. The last, but not the least. So the statement is multiplexes are found in large cities. Well, yes, for now, that's absolutely true. Big theaters, multiplexes, are definitely found in large cities, places like Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore. That brings us to the end of this quiz. I'm sure this has been an informative experience for you. Well, friends, let's move on to a next very important topic, which is a cyber cafe. What exactly is a cyber cafe? Well, internet cafes or cyber cafes are located worldwide and many people use them regularly if they don't have internet access at home or while they are traveling. They offer access to the internet. The most common function in use of email and instant messaging service to keep in touch with family and friends. Another common function is entertainment, playing games or chatting online. Yes, I'm sure we all do it at some point. We chat with our friends on internet and even otherwise, if we need information about anything or even a meaning of any word, for example, right now we're studying English. So if we need a meaning of any word, all we need to do is just go to the Wikipedia on internet and find out the meaning. We don't need any thesaurus, no dictionary, just the internet. Yes, it's so simple. Cyber cafes are a natural evolution of the traditional cafe which we had. Cafes started as places for information exchange and have always been used as places to read the paper, send postcards home, play traditional or electronic games, chat with friends and find out local information. With internet access in demand, cyber cafes have mushroomed across the world. Right, to make the concept of cyber cafe a little more clear, let's take a look at another conversation. This conversation depicts a small scene going on in a cyber cafe. Good morning. I need a system for half an hour. Only half an hour? Why don't you take your time? We have just reduced our rates to 20 rupees per hour only. 
Wow, that's great. Okay, then make it one hour. I'll sign the entry register. The system will be available in about five minutes. All right, I need to send an application online. Mrs. Sharma, I may need your help. Certainly. What are you applying for? For admission to college. I want to study law in IIL Pune. Unfortunately, I missed the admission notice in the paper. The last date for submitting the application is too close for comfort. So I'm planning to do it online. That's not a problem. A lot of people put in their applications online. And in case you need to attach your details to the application, we have installed a program called Resume Wizard. Oh, that's a great relief. And why is that? You're one of our oldest customers. When have we ever failed you? Never, I must confess, Mrs. Sharma. It's just that I've only come here to check my mail, chat and play some games. And net surfing, of course. Most people do that. And then they start online job hunting, shopping online, even working on the net. I see it happen every day. I'm sure you do. And thank you so much for being so helpful. You're most welcome. Well, friends, I'm sure you enjoyed this bit of conversation and also it made the idea of a cyber cafe a little more clearer to you. Well, since I'm a trainer, I can't help but at least ask you one question in the end. Just one this time, all right? And of course, it'll also be there in the workbook which you're using, right? So the question goes like this. The last date for submitting the application is too close for comfort. Now what does this statement mean? Well don't worry I'll give you three options. Option number one, there is plenty of time. Option number two, time is running out. And option number three, the plan is on schedule. Once again I'll repeat the question for you. The last date for submitting the application is too close for comfort. What does this statement mean? The options are there is a plenty of time, time is running out, the plan is on schedule. So what do you think is the right answer? Well, is it tricky? I don't think so. Well, okay, let me give you the answer then. The answer is, time is running out. Yes, this is what it means. So, did you enjoy it? Well, okay, you did. Great, so let me ask you a few more questions. All right. So, the question number two is, which of these are net-related activities? Once again, which of these are net-related activities? Number one, e-shopping. Number two, surfing. Number three, chatting online. Number four, fax. Number five, board exams. Number six, email. Number seven, marriage bureaus. Number eight, job hunting. I'll repeat it for you. The options are e-shopping, surfing, chatting online, fax, board exams, email, marriage bureaus, and job hunting. What do you think are the correct answers? Well, let's try and find out which of these are net related activities. Well, e-shopping, definitely e-shopping is net related. What e-shopping means is when we buy whatever we need on a website, for example, on bazi.com or ebay.com. Surfing. Yes, we all do net surfing. So net surfing definitely is a net related activity. Chatting online. What do you think? Yes, of course, that would again be a net related activity, right? Facts. Well, facts would not be a net related activity because we don't go online to send a fax to somebody, right? Board exams. That again would not be a net related activity, right? The next option is email. That of course is a net related activity because we can only send an email once we go online, 
through Yahoo or whichever email service provider we're using. Marriage bureaus, yes, I'm sure you must have heard of Shadi.com. That is how marriage bureau is a net related activity. And job hunting, yes, that again would be a net related activity. I'm sure you must have heard of websites called Monster.com, JobHunting.com. These are the websites where we look for a job. So this again would be a net related activity. Well, this brings us to the end of this session. But before we end it, let us summarize what we've done in this session. Well, we have uh, studied about multiplexes, about malls, about cyber cafes, and yes, about fast food restaurants. We have also taken a look at some conversations about the multiplexes, malls, cyber cafes, and fast food restaurants. I'm sure this has provided you an ample insight into how these spaces of activity around us work, right? And now, whenever in future somebody talks to you about it, you'll be able to have a meaningful conversation. So, see you again in some other session. Goodbye till then.